Hello and welcome to Trivia Night Online, brought to you by the People's Trivia Company. My name is Austin. I'm and Jack. And we're here to, to deliver some trivia to you. She always talks like that, by the way. She's going to be talking like that. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, maybe she's not. <laughs> but. The ears are heckled. <laughs> You're going to be getting some trivia tonight, and in between, Jack's going to be helping us out by reading the heckles that the live crew has been sending in throughout the game and helping them out in chat. If you hear click clacking away on the keyboard, that's because we bought a mechanical keyboard before we realized that we'd be turning our apartment into a television studio. Let's get on with the game, yeah? Yeah, cheers, Clinky. Cheers and Clinky, we're here to provide you a bar trivia pub quiz experience. But of the internet variety. And welcome to ours. We're happy you're here. And let's get on with the game. Round one is going to be general knowledge. No rhyme or reason to these eight questions. Just eight questions we tossed together for your amusement. Good luck, everybody. I believe in all of you and love most of you. Number one. Twisting, pulling, and the namesake action are the only three things you have to do with the original version of what toy? Released in 1996. Good luck, everybody, tonight. Chat wishing each other luck. That's nice. That, that, that Surge gets it. That's disgusting. Oh, I get it. Number one again. Twisting, pulling, and the namesake action are the only three things you have to do with the original version of what toy released in 1996? 90s toys were awesome. Yes. Yes. They could hurt people and they were so Very fun. Much so. Oh, Very much so. Most were involving the outside. Many. I feel like back in my day. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. they didn't have a VR app associated yeah. with them or anything. Yeah, I think I'm going. Number two. Hey, Shadow. Named for a twin constellation, what is the title of the 2019 movie that stars Will Smith as the as two versions of the same character aged decades apart? Question two again. Named for a twin constellation, what is the title? Of the 2019 movie that stars Will Smith as two versions of the same character, aged decades apart. Look, it's not necessarily this. It couldn't. It could be either like named like directly for the constellation, or it could be like inspired by. Like it could have it in it. Just don't, don't be nuts about that, huh? That's the best part of that. <laughs> If we're gonna do that. It's the best part of it. Number three. In 2019, the Washington Mystics beat the Connecticut Sun to win their very first championship in what pro sports league? No, I didn't buffer. The Dodgers just hit a home run. Solo home run. In 2019, the Washington Mystics beat the Connecticut Sun to win their very first championship in what professional sports league? Question number three. Jack is a very big Dodger fan. I'm a very big Padre fan. They have met each other in the uh, the playoffs, so it's a, it's a it's a big deal in this household. We're having fun. Three again. In 2019, Washington Mystics beat the Connecticut Sun to win their very first championship. What professional sports league? Number four. After the resignation of Richard Nixon in 1974, Gerald Ford took over as president. What former governor of New York did Ford appoint as, vice, as his vice president? Speaking of the vice president debate, we got a vice president question tonight. Look at me. I try, right? I try. Like the whole quiz wasn't going to be VP themed, but we put a, we'll, put, we'll, we'll toss a question in there. Huh? Was that on purpose? Yes. Okay, great. I don't know if you did it. Great. As far as they know, yes. <laughs> Just gonna boost my ego a bit. Mm -hmm. Four again after the resignation of Richard Nixon in 1974. Gerald Ford, Gerald Ford, Gerald Ford, took over as president. What former governor of New York did Ford appoint as his vice president? Gerald Ford was eaten by wolves. It's from Brokaw. I love last night. Last night, chat's pointing out the uh, the picture round included the invisible woman. And chat just lost their mind. It's blank. It's blank. There's nothing there. It's blank. Austin, you you made a grievous error. <laughs> Number five. Blackpink. EXO and 17 are all popular bands from what country? If 
Five again. Blackpink, EXO, and Seventeen are all popular bands from one country. Could be EXO. Could be EXO. It's capitalized. I mean, it also could be B-L-A-C-K-P-I-N-K. -I, I don't... It's probably EXO. We freezing? Yeah, I have a little buffering. It's refresh. We buffering a bit? Frozen. I'm not frozen right now, so refresh, maybe. I well, can Why I, am I bothering saying that? Because if you're frozen, you obviously won't hear me say <laughs> refresh. You're, you're still frozen. Telling, you're still telling me. Yeah, I can do it in so, chat. Yeah. Five again, Blackpink, EXO, and 17 are all popular bands for what country? I'm going to hang on this question just for a couple more seconds. They, by the way, for those that can see me live, uh, one, make sure you are watching live. Make sure the live button is up there. And two, thank you for the likes on this video. We appreciate that. The early likes already on this live stream means a lot. It helps us get some more eyes on the people that can join the game, can discover us, become fans, become part of this nice community we built. You know, thanks for the likes. We appreciate it. Number, five, number six. Found in your ear, nose, rib cage, and more, what is the elastic tissue, similar to bone, that makes up the entire skeleton of a shark? Yes. I know what you're doing. And I, and I approve. Okay, good. I love it. Uh, found in your ear, nose, rib cage, and more. What's the elastic tissue similar to bone makes up the entire skeleton of a shark? Bree in chat, running this through a phone, connected through her router, connected through the hotel's access point to broadcast to the TV's Chromecast. What can go wrong? Yeah, you're going to have a smooth sailing. Ooh, smooth sailing, Ashley Remington. Smooth sailing, Ashley Remington. I think only Dan Rhino might laugh at that. I think that's maybe the only person that has a shot at that one. That one was for you, Dan. Number seven. According to its official motto, what U.S. state is the crossroads of America? Just figure that one out. According to its official motto, what U.S. state is the crossroads of America? Teddy letting us know those Venmo character limits are the, are the devil. The devil? Oh, oh Lord. Lord! They are the devil, Teddy. I'm sorry. Seven again, according to the official model, what U.S. states the crossroads of America. Here's number eight, party people. Oh, we got some new viewers. Thanks, everybody. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the game. Don't cheat. Have fun. No answers in chat. Final question for the round, number eight. Guillermo Rodriguez is the comedy sidekick and faux security guard for what late night talk show host? There's another comedy sidekick, Guillermo. Huh. Guillermo Rodriguez is the comedy sidekick and faux security guard for what late night talk show host? Gizmo. Yeah. <laughs> I like to see how people are playing the game tonight. We got people Chromecasting, which is fine playing on that, and then on the, which is great, makes totally sense. And then your husband has a Zoom call on his iPad for your teammates. Brilliant. Very smart way to play. We love it. Team up in any way you want. We love it. That's the whole point. Have fun with it. Connect. Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, we're going to keep this on screen for five seconds, then we're going to check in with Jack, and we're going to read a heckle or two, and then we are going to move on to the answers, say hi to the team's playing, and so on and so forth. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. It's great. It's great. We got a great crowd, nice community, a bunch of green names in chat. Uh, by the way, if you are a Tier 2 member, again, that Family Feud is coming up this Sunday. And then the next Sunday, I think we're doing the Family Feud again, unless we find a much cooler game to play. Unless the first one goes like, eh. If it goes, eh, I'll think of something cooler. All right, Jack, let's say hi to you in the Heckle Cam. Hi, Jack. Hi, Heckle Cam. Oh, there they are. Yay! Okay, so you want some heckles, right? Yeah, sure. I have this one from Sergio. Okay. Oh, and this is a ridiculously hefty heckle. Sergio says, good luck, gang. Thanks, Serge, for that grotesquely hefty heckle. Boy, that Sergio is one of the coolest players we have. And I'm in no way being prompted to say this. He is just the coolest dude we know. 
it's funny because that you that's such a short actual heckle that he just said good luck everyone and then you just went on a rant Jack that was very and then you you were speaking as if it, you were reading something I had that to say that was what I had to say and he said good luck gang not good luck everyone the by the way f- yeah, sorry sorry but the funniest part is this was actually he actually requested money from this too <laughs> this, this wasn't him giving request. money he requested money that only worked once no one no one will ever get that again the first person to think of asking us for money instead of sending it through Venmo that, okay it worked okay it worked it, it worked the first the first time. time and then hey it's gonna work the second time by the way it's, gonna work the no, it's not gonna work the second time unless it does he it depends on how much he has to drink yeah, yeah, probably yeah, enough probably nothing yeah uh last heckle for this Our round last heckle for this round comes from Ben hey Ben Ben, What's up, ben? says happy 14th wedding anniversary Kelly 14 years with the wrong woman. And they say it wouldn't last. I think she slapped you just now. I think she slapped you. If I know Kelly, and you guys have been playing trivia with me for a while, I think she slapped you a little bit on the shoulder. I think you kind of deserved it. I hope her maiden name is wrong. Kelly wrong. <laughs> I just I just want to get married. I just want to get married. I'll take whatever name is out there. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, thank you so much, Ben, for the support. Uh, much love to you and your family. Happy anniversary. That's a big deal. Yay. Happy anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Here's your cake. Blow it up. Uh, all right. Bye. That's it. We got. That's it. That's all. We got those thank heckles. You. That's it. Bye, everyone. Bye. If you want to be featured on the heckle cam, that's what you, that's what you got to do. Send it in through Venmo. And that will determine how much time you have to send in answers for this round. Get those answers in for round number one. Get them in. Get them in. Like your Rin Tin Tin or... Is it Anne Boleyn? Uh, I don't know. Anne Boleyn. She's in there somewhere. She is in there somewhere. One week clear experience with ladies. See, Jack's so good. All right, waiting on those answers, folks. We're going to give you five seconds. Five seconds to send them in. Did you say bare naked ladies? Yeah. Yeah, search Google for bare naked ladies. What's the biggest problem? Oh no, it's Hook Traveler. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Hook. It's Hook. I'm sorry. Chat's gonna get. Chat's gonna. Chat's gonna be all over with that one. Oh wait, where are, are you? Right? Is that, wait, maybe I'm wrong. No, it's second in, second in. Like you're okay. in tin, or Anne Boylan. Boylan. Yeah. Bare naked ladies. Ah, oh, it's Blues Traveler. Come on, Austin. Get it together. What you can be wrong? You know all about Hook. I love Hook. All right. Cheers. Here are the answers. Cheers. Uh, Hook by Blues Traveler is a song about itself. Here are the answers to round. Look at all. Ch- look, I'm sorry, really quick. Look at everyone in chat saying happy anniversary to Ben and Kelly. Happy anniversary. Look at that. That was nice. All right. Round one answers. People are nice. The community's good. Twisting, pulling. Fidel in the lead with the super chat sticker, by the way. Currently in the lead, Fidel. Twisting, pulling, namesake action are the only three things you have to do with the original version of what toy released in 1996. Bop it! Bop it! Yeah, bop it. We, we were talking... The, uh... Chad was talking about skip it. Do you have a skip it? I would skip it for hours. Just skipping it. I love skip it. Yeah. I feel like I've talked about that before. Love it. Love it. Skipping it. <laughs> Our neighbors had to skip it. Tried it a couple times. Couldn't get the hang of it. <laughs> that magic guy. Well, that's another story. Name for a twin constellation. What's the title of a 2019 movie starring Will Smith? It's two versions of the same character aged decades apart. Uh, we're looking for Gemini Man. Gemini Man. That's why I said it was like, wasn't like was really like Gemini. It was Gemini Man's name of the movie is what we're looking for there. How'd we do on that one, folks? Uh, I need the name of the movie. And I told you it wasn't exactly the constellation. I will... I will laugh on that hill. Number three. In 2019, Washington Mystics beat the Connecticut Sun to win their first championship in what pro sports league? The WNBA is the right answer there. If you didn't guess that, you best you guess soccer. Oh, hi, Shadow. Uh, and the, just the answer of basketball is not enough. I'm so sorry. We needed the pro league. And the league was WNBA. Number four. Look at me just being mean. A mean old jerk. Just being a mean old jerk for the first round answers. After the resignation of Richard Nixon in 74, Gerald Ford took over as president. What former governor of New York did Ford appoint as his VP? Uh, Rockefeller is the right answer there. Rock, Rockefeller. Close. About, about, about half got that one right. 
Yeah, let's do it now. Yes. Okay. Let's do the mailbag right now. Okay, we're going to interrupt these answers for some mailbag. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I'm so sorry. I want to thank, real quick, if I can get this message out. Uh, we have Derek here, and Derek was given, uh, let's see if I can get this thing. Uh, the, the note was said, uh, put some clothes on, Derek. Derek? 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 I don't know. Couldn't spell Derek. I uh, love Sergio and Amber. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on Derek. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Uh, Derek, there Hi, he the is. Cam. You're on this cam right here. Hi, everybody. This is Derek. Thanks oh, for this wow. shirt. Oh, that comes out so good. <laughs> Derek <laughs> now is in wa walking around the house with this on, so yeah. thank you so much. And he just gave me testosterone. That's all it's been. So he's <laughs> getting testosterone this whole time. So now Derek can wear a shirt without wearing a shirt. <laughs> Serge and Amber, that was a great gift. This is fantastic. It fits him perfectly. I'm going to wear this to the beach when I feel self-conscious. It breathes. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much for that. Just real, while yeah. he's here, I wanted to cover that mailbag real quick. Number five. Thank you, Derek. Blackpink, EXO, and 17, all popular bands from what country? South Korea is the right answer there. South Korea. South Korea is the right answer. Folks, I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to keep saying this. There are two Koreas. <laughs> you have to tell me which one. If you answer just Korea, that's wrong. Especially, I can't, like, and there's also, and by the way, there's two Dakotas. It's the same, consider, the, consider them Dakotas, all right? Act like they're Dakotas. You have to name the North or South. Number six. Found in your ear, nose, rib cage, and more. What's the elastic tissue similar to bone? Makes up the entire skeleton of a shark. Cartilage. Cartilage? I think yeah. Jack pantomimed cartridge for that one. Mm -hmm. I, I understand what she was doing. Yeah. I liked it. Sounds like you know, it worked out. Yeah. It worked out. Boy. Chat loved that shirt. Chat loved that shirt. I'm just now seeing chat. <laughs> Serge and Amber, what have you done? Look. Look what you've done. I love that. Thank you, Derek, for that. Number seven. According to the official model, what U.S. states the crossroads of America? Indiana is the right answer there. Ooh, tough one, folks. Y'all guessed middle America. Indiana's the right answer there. A lot of love for Missouri and Kansas. Utah's not the crossroads. Oh, you probably got a uh, promontory point. It's probably your guess there. I like your hypothesis there for the guess on Utah. I'll, I'll, I'll sign off on that. I won't sign off on a backwards K. Oof. Can't strike out like that. Final question for the round. Guillermo Rodriguez is the comedy sidekick and faux security guard for what late night talk show host? Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel is the right answer there. Party people. Jimmy Kimmel. How'd you do in round one, folks? How'd you do? Let's get those team names updated. Let's say hi to some of the team names. Let's get into round number two. Round two is a little different. Round two is a little tricky. Not Actually, it's not tricky. There's really no, no trick to it. You only have two possible answers for every question. Every question only contains two possible answers. The answer to e the all eight questions is either... Oh, what happened there? It's either ballet or MMA. All right? That's, that's it. Someone's team name is crazy long. Carol Baskin. You need, you are causing, this is this is your fault right now. The fact that this is going on over my face is because your team name is ridiculously long. <laughs> Look what I need to do live because of this. Ugh. Oh, yes. Look what I have to do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look at everyone's time is now just burned. I'll make the font smaller in a moment. You guys, you've been, oh, you monsters. I love you guys so much, though. Thanks for supporting the show constantly, but you're monsters. And I know because the team name looks to be a reference to the fact your team name is long. So. All right, here we go. Uh, round number two. I can't fix that because one of you guys have crazy long team name. I'm sorry. Ballet or MMA? I'm going to give you a term. You tell me. If the term is popular in the world of ballet, or if the word is popular in the world of MMA, all right? Mixed martial arts, combat, fighting. That, you're gonna get a word, eight, eight different words. You tell me if it's ballet or MMA. My brother, I am absolutely watching the popular game right now. Uh, round two, question one. Only two possible answers. You tell me if it's ballet or MMA. Batu.
Batu. Is that from ballet or MMA? Chiron. I can't get that. This isn't the end. This isn't the end, Carol Baskin team. This isn't the last you've heard from me. Mm -hmm. Menacing laugh. You think you're so clever. Oh, the cat's freaking out. You upset the cat. How about that? You upset Shadow. Number one. What's up? Uh, we have some freezing, like a like a really? sputtering. What is going on? It's I have no drop frames on my side. Um, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going YouTube on this one. I got no drop frames. Okay, we'll we'll hang out a little bit. We'll hang out a little bit. Bunch of ice cubes. Thank you, Jack. I would have kept going. All right, we're back. Let's know if we're back, folks. Make sure you're live. Try Watch to, it live. Try to refresh. Yeah, refresh and reset. I'll hang out here for a couple seconds. We seem live ish? I think. Okay. Part two. Wait, maybe not. Here's number two. Wait. Here's number two. We're good. Okay. Plum. Plum. Is that a ballet term or MMA? Let's say hi to some of the teams playing tonight while we're doing this. I think we're, we're pretty... We're Seem good? No, no, no. We're still having trouble, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is a bit delayed. We're all having trouble. Yeah. Wow. I, I wish. Zero drop frames. I got 4,000. And then, you know, I got a... a Multi-bagger. Uh, <laughs> wait till we come back. Make sure you're watching live. That's the, you upset the cat. That was a few minutes ago. Oh, jeez. Yeah. We're way behind. But this is not freezing for me. It's just way behind. Okay. I'm going to... What am I doing here? What can I do? Let me, hold on. Let me think. I know I'm watching live. I know people are watching me right now. If you are... I apologize for thinking out loud. Just thinking what I can do to. Yeah, I know we're still kind of live, but this. we're very delayed as of right now. Uh, let me. I don't think it's this, but I'll try. Because I have no dropped frames. According to the clock. And it's not taking up. Lagged frames, no stream dis disconnection. I'm at 4,000. KBS, 30 frames a second. It's taking up less than 8% of my CPU. Okay, we're good. Let me know. We're trying to fix it. I'm just trying to find out what's going on. If it's not on my side, then it's on YouTube, and it's not not too much I can do except switch over to Twitch, <laughs> yeah. which I can and will do if I have to. And then we'll just fly through this game. I'm going to just check it. We're going to see if it's a YouTube issue. If it is, guys, prepare possibly to uh, maybe head over to our Twitch channel. Uh, which I think I know. Might have to, maybe. We won't know yet. Don't know yet. But maybe it's twitch.tv slash people's trivia. Um, getting better. Seems okay now. Might be smoothing out. Yeah. Okay. I had to threaten it. I had to threaten it with Twitch. I had to say like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna go to another platform." Chat asking if Derek's microwaving an entire turkey. Yeah, that's how he drives that shirt. He sticks it in the microwave. No, it's not. On, it's it's not on us. YouTube is. Yeah. I'm getting an error from them, but honestly, it's on. Uh... Oh, okay. I'm live now too. We're back. We're back. I know I have question. I have question one. I went back to question one. I went back to question one just because I know we had a little bit of delay there. Okay, we're good. Let's get going. This is question one. Again, the whole deal for this round is to name whether or not the term is from ballet or MMA. That's mixed martial arts. Number two. Yeah, I got a clock up there in the corner, folks. Just kind of. I'm on the west coast, but 
That's how you can kind of see what we're doing here. I think it's a good time to remind the audience to make sure you're live. Watch live. Make sure you're watching live. There should how be can like they a, tell? There should be a red button next to the word live, wherever that is on your screen. Looks good. Good. Thank you guys for hanging out. We love you guys. Thank you guys. You guys are great. We didn't lose. We didn't, we didn't lose too many. Number two. Plum. Plum. Is that from ballet or MMA? The world of ballet or mixed martial arts? Plum. Yeah, YouTube snapped right into shape the second I mentioned heading over to possibly to another platform, huh? They, they really shipped up. Shipped up? Shaped up. Ship, you can sh ship up. Yeah, ship, ship up or ship out. Shape up? Shape up or ship out. That's what I was doing. Well, I'm done. It happens. We had celebration drinks. Hey, we're watching the game. Number two is Plum. Number three. Andre Shaw. Andre Shaw. Number three. Mm. I give my own little phonetic pronunciations there. Derek, they loved it. Thank you. Derek says thank you. For the nice gift. For the nice gift. <clears throat> Andre Shaw. For number three. From ballet or MMA. Number four. Ogoshi. Ogoshi. Is this from the world of ballet or from the world of mixed martial arts? Number four is Ogoshi. There's only two possible answers. There's no both. I'm pretty sure this is from the world of what you might say to your crush. Oh, gosh, I... Oh, Ogoshi. Oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Smash characters. <laughs> uh, my Yoshi and my Gizmo are the same voice. Gizmo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number five. Ballet or MMA? Coda! 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 Bloody stream. Let's go. I don't know if that's a... That's... Kid. You gotta... Yeah, you can't do that. Can't do that, bud. What are you doing? Stop that. It's obviously a hint. Stop that. <laughs> don't do that. Make us work. We don't want to work tonight. <laughs> Dakota. Yeah. What do you mean what? <laughs> what do you mean what? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, to your what? What? How about that? <laughs> now, now, this is the BP debate. Let's go. Stop doing that, you... Stop, That's it. Stop, stop, stop. That's it. Dude. Aw. <laughs> I can't. I have to keep the round going. I can't debate with him. I know. It's only like what? Minute Five and minutes. And I gotta keep going, dude. You don't repeat the thing that we said. Don't say. Yeah. Like I have to. Like there's no. You or I mean explain it. Further. Yeah. Don't like. Oh no. This, I just meant this. You know, with that hint, I, I meant this and long, longer explanation. No, come of the, on. No. He's not banned. No, no. It's he's not fine. banned. He'll. After Kaimura is number six, Kimura is number six. He'll be back in like a minute, but like that's the rule. You can't, you can't explain the thing. That, obviously, we're doing it for a reason, right? That was hilarious. What do you mean, what? Kaimura or Kimura? Kaimura? I think it's. Uh, you know what? I'm from a weird part of Europe, so I'll accept either. Oh. 
And some guy that had nothing to do with the do Dodgers dominating right now. <laughs> but that, despite that, no hints or no answers in chat, please. No hints. Nothing that can be construed as a hint. It's got, it's got to be so wrong, it's funny. All right? Anything other than that, you're just giving hints out. Can't do that. It's a game. You'd be kicked out of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire if you did that from the audience. They'd be like, no. <laughs> Number seven. Cravat. Number seven is a cravat. Cravat is number seven. What happened? What? <laughs> Everyone's gasping. Cravat seven. Oh, Conrad has a hint in chat, maybe? <laughs> That's what they're guessing. Oh, Cassie, come on. Final one for the round. Last one for the round. The answer is already ballet or MMA. You only know one of those two things. Here's number eight. Fish dive. What's that from? Ballet or MMA? Ballet, MMA. 50-50 shot. If you don't know anything about either, I mean, if no one on your team knows anything about ballet or MMA, like if they know a lot about MMA, you have a good shot at this round because they can rule some stuff out. Uh, and if it's, you know, if you don't know anything about either, it's still a coin flip. If you know nothing about the subject, either ballet or, or MMA, uh, it is, I am told by my intelligent wife uh, that Eight coin flips in a row being incorrect is statistically significant. Well, it starts at seven, right? Um, I think it might be eight. If it's if it's anything more than seven. Well, how can I say this? Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right, five seconds on the clock. Then we're gonna go over the heckles that have been sent in. Five seconds on the clock, and then we're setting in those heckles. We're reading those heckles. Then we're going on to the answers. Four seconds. Three. Two. One. Hello, Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hi, Jack. Hi, Heckle Cam. What up? What up? Uh, also, one thing is that I don't think the answers are independent. Like, if I don't think all of those were one of the two things. Like, I don't think it's possible for them all to have been ballet. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. That would. But what a move would that be? Okay. That'd be a power move. That'd There's be no, a real power. No move. MMA in that round. That's so, a power move. <laughs> So that changes some things. But anyway, I want to read heckles because that's my other job other than math. Um, Teddy has a heckle for us. Hey, Teddy. Teddy says, heard you're thinking of moving the stream to 5 p.m. A capital idea. That is, if you want me to come to Brea, <laughs> cut your hair, destroy your Legos, burn down your apartment and steal Shadow. The Legos? Just kidding. <laughs> some of us West Coasters work till 6 Hashtag keep trivia at 7 p.m. Go blue. Devil horns, unicorn, grid of dials, sad cat face, flame, purple Stop. heart, teddy bear. Stop explaining yourself. Teddy, you're great. Uh, I, I am, you, you got me so upset. I said Legos. It should be Lego. It's the, the plural of Lego is Lego. Uh, and how dare you threaten those. Fine. Yeah, you want to well, say Lego sets or Lego pieces. Lego bricks. Lego bricks. Uh, nerd. Uh, um, that, uh, last night, because so we can have, like, a night to ourselves and, like, uh, watch the game, uh, we had an earlier game than usual, and that was well received. So we're gonna, we're gonna look into it. Officially looking into it, we're gonna probably put out a couple polls, we're gonna put some feelers out to see, uh, what would be acceptable and not for our crowd. But, like, originally when we started this thing, this was, like, four-hour Southern California trivia nights that, because uh, bars were closed, we're like, okay, just just go online. It's 7 o'clock. Just go online. And then we've got a crowd that was beyond our time zone. So here we are. So we may not have to evolve a little bit. We don't know. So we'll check into that. We're going to look into it. Uh, but thank you so much, Teddy, for the, for the heckle. We'll do one more. 
Mm, another oh, one? Hosmer. Hosmer, thank you for actually doing something. Hey, touch first place while you're at it. Base. Uh, thank you so much. We Teddy, have, um, one more. Thank you. One more heckle from Charlie. Charlie I says, know, right? Yo, not watching live because I had to sadly work late again. Sorry, buddy. I'm about to sit and watch a grown woman tear the head off a cardboard statue, or as I've heard it called by others, a quote, VP debate. Yeah. I'll catch the stream tomorrow. So hi to future me from New Jersey, Charlie. What's up, New Jersey, Charlie? What's going on, buddy? I wonder if New Jersey, Charlie, if it was that the person that got the YouTube just recommended them because one of these days we had just New Jersey in the title of one of our episodes. Is that why? Love you, Charlie. <laughs> uh, love you, Charlie. I love all our New Jersey fans. Uh, have fun all watching. Have fun uh, being involved in the political process and uh, hope all is well. I love that the Padres are making it competitive. She said that to her through her teeth. Yeah, isn't that nice? They're making it. They're down by one now. Let's go, baby. Yay! Yay! All right, let's say goodbye to Jack and the Heckle Cam. Bye! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I had to close the stream because I thought that was what was causing it. So I'm going to you can keep that up, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, bye. Sorry. Back on. You're off now. Answers to round two. Get them in. Get them in. Get them in. Get those answers in, folks. How many players we got tonight? That's about it. That's the okay, first good. out. Okay, good. Round two, number one. I asked you if it's ballet or MMA. Okay, I'll tell you right off the top. The reason we muted you, some guy, is because if you said something is related to music, that's probably related to ballet. If you're saying a word is related to music, there's a definite connection between ballet and music. So that is a very, very big hint if you're saying in chat that this thing is actually a musical thing. Like, yes, yes, yeah. you get that. Yes, we're completely right. But you're also giving out a very big hint, which is why we cut that one off. And when we, we did the explanation of it, that got cut off too, because again, it contained a hint. Are we, we're good? All right, number number one. Uh, ballet, this is a foot movement. Bot two is foot movement. It's no worries, one. man, it happens. Yeah, no worries, no worries at all. I just want I, I want to make sure that we explain anytime, anytime we do that. Uh, because sometimes people will get uh, either like censored or like their their like their random chat is just taken away, and they didn't intend to do it. So we always the policy here is to explain why we do it. Uh, most of the time, there's a whole crew of people who do it accidentally. It's great. Like Veronica does it all the time. Uh, Veronica's known for that. Uh, number one's uh, ballet, though. Number one's ballet. Number two, plum, is MMA. It's a head grapple. It is a head grapple. Is number two MMA. Number three. Entre Shaw, sorry, Entre Shaw is ballet. That's jumping and crossing your legs at the same time, which I will do right now after the show. Uh, number four, Ogoshi. Oh, gosh, I. It's a judo hip throw. Oh, gosh, I. <laughs> judo hip throw. MMA, folks. MMA is the answer number four. Uh, number five, Coda. Uh, this one, ballet. It's the end of a segment uh, or a musical piece. Uh, or ballet, or yes, a musical thing. So, like, that's why we had to censor anything referring to music on this one. A coda is ballet for number five. Number six, Kimura, or Kaimura, depending if you're listening to Jim Ross call a Brock Lesnar match. Uh, MMA, arm submission. That's when they put it behind the back, and they just don't care where it goes from that point. They just pull it any which way until you scream, I give up. <laughs> MMA in a heart, in a nutshell. Number seven, a cravat. MMA, again, guillotine choke is what we're looking at there. A cravat is a guillotine choke. <clears throat> Number eight, final one for the round. Fish dive, a fish dive. Ballet, it's a type of lift, actually. No, fish... it's in an MMA when you go to the corner and you jump off the top rope. <laughs> That's but you definitely do, an but MMA you do, thing. You, you do the fish hook signal before before you're like, ah, he's going for the ah, fish dive. Ah, he's the fisherman. Finisher. The fisherman's His soup. Fisherner. His fisherner. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm Mr. Perfect's finisher was the, the the fisherman suplex. So I mean, a perfect plex, whatever. What's going on, folks? How'd you do in round two? Let us know. Let us go. Let's go, Padres. Uh, chat wants you to say hi to the rest of the teams. So that was interrupted due to the freezing issue. Great point. No. Uh, moving on, round number three is going to be... <laughs> I will, I will, I will. Here, I say hi to teams. 
I'll, I'll do it between round three. In this round, name the country. No, you didn't ruin it. We censured you quickly. We we were on you. We were on you like flies on honey. You didn't ruin nothing. That's what we're, that's what our job is. Again, I just always explain what. Whenever we do that, I always explain why. I don't want anyone to live in the dark. Round three, name the country. We're going to put some pictures on the screen. Picture time, party people. Picture time. Name the country that we're referencing. Picture time. Picker man? No. Picker, picker man. Yeah. No, I'm not going to move on. Uh, round three, question one. Oh, number one. Name the country. Post your score for round two, by the way. This is going to be the next thing, apparently. Oh, my lord, no. Oh, that's terrible. That's hilarious. Number one, name the country. What? Uh, thanks for the heckles, guys. Got some new heckles coming in. Thanks for the, also the early likes on this video. We got 11 double digits. Always nice. You guys got me stumbling. Number two. Number two. Or garbage. Number two. Or soulless, rotting corpses. Right. Name the country. We got eight countries we're going to show you. Name them. I mean, there's a small wrinkle to this round, but I'm sure you can figure it out. You're smart people. Nice. <laughs> nice. She's good. Uh, uh, as always, Jack will be panelizing the correct answers off screen for my enjoyment. She gets the dopamine drip, too. Okay? Number three. Name the country. <laughs> People still mad about Invisible Woman last night. God, everyone assumed, the, like a third of the chat assumed I had screwed up somehow. Like I wasn't also looking at the screen, and I'm not also looking at yeah. everything I'm putting on the internet. Like, hey, uh, by the way, guy, uh, I know you've been staring at it for 30 seconds, but it's blank. Yeah, nah, duh. And then someone in chat, like, joked, Invisible Woman. Yes, that's the yes, answer! That's it. <laughs> We definitely have to remove that. Clever, <laughs> like, clever and trivia okay. never mix. I think that's, an, that's another example of the lesson of you don't have to know what the correct answer is to give a hint. Right, so right, right. hints have to be removed whether you right. know the correct answer or you not. You can totally <laughs> accidentally give a hint like, in the game. Accidentally. So, like, if you're going to put anything in chat, don't make it obviously a wrong answer. It has to be funny enough to be, like, way off. But, yeah, this is, this is, that's the principle. We're going to come up with trivia law later. Uh, there's number three. Name the country we're referencing here. Name the country. By the way, Fidel's in charge. Not you. It's not it's no not longer you. you. Not you. We're talking about uh the person who Veronica just said straight up woman. Veronica straight up last <laughs> night. And if Veronica woman. were here, I'd yell at her right now. I'm not even talking about you anymore. I'm talking to Veronica like ha 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 invisible woman. Like girl. That's it. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> That's worse than a hint. I love you all. You're all trivia monsters. Number four. Name the country. Name the country. <laughs> what? What? What, Jack? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Veronica, straight up. Where are you, Veronica? Squirrel in the lead now. I'll wait. Oh, I, I should wait till it pops up here, though. This is a fun game tonight. People are fun. There's lag. T Teddy pointing out that the Invisible Woman issue was hilarious on replay. I'll go back and watch that one again. I'll go back and watch that one again because I still. I what? What? Why are you mad, everyone? And then after like eight people put it in chat, still people are like, hey, there's nothing. There's nothing there. Yeah, I'm asking for superheroes that are female. Squirrel in the lead. Curly. The person in charge, super chatter in charge, squirrel, currently with a dollar. Here's number five. Here's number five for round number three. Hmm. Name the country. Some of these are tough, some aren't. This round isn't the toughest. <laughs> I, like, 
the second part better. <laughs> that was fun. I would have, I, I, in a million years, I would never have. Well, I needed the combination of this. I two. know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like so that's good. Right? It's so good. I, I forgot to say hi to the teams. <laughs> Right. Here's number five. I'll start saying hi to you guys, I promise. You guys are great. Everyone's so patient and nice. Here's number six. Name the country. Let's say hi to the teams playing tonight. Welcome to the game, Palest, Alist, Monorailist. Welcome. I can tote it. I just need your egg. 90 Day Fiance reference. I figured it out. Cut twice, measure once. Welcome to the game. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys. Uh, welcome to the game, Matt Holiday was safe. You're a you're a, a crime against humanity. Matt Holiday never touched home plate. There's video evidence. The 07, he never touched home plate. What? Well, I, I have your email address now. Why would you do this? <laughs> Let's talk later. Horsey men, Sonic Boomers. That B Carol B's shortened team name as per Austin Floyd's request. Now, did you think that's what I wanted? Did you think I wanted that? You caused like a 15 second delay in the game. Chad agrees he didn't touch home, by the way. Thank you. He didn't touch home plate. Because that's a fact. I run a trivia company and I deal with facts. I wouldn't say it if it weren't a fact. Number seven. Name the country. Monchichi Army. Welcome to the game. Enforcers. Horn Pub. Beer. Winning playoff baseball. Money. Ha 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 ha. Impotent Rage, Go, tre Go Team Roundtree, Rosebud Motel, Mamala May I, Mamala? <laughs> Mamala. S A K or SAC, welcome to the game. Not the bees! Nick Cage reference. Thick a man. <laughs> Thick a man. Social the stanchion, swap meat, meat spelled inappropriately. Thank you so much for the murder panda. It's, yeah. it's, out, of, it's out of reach, but thank you for the murder panda. Uh, postcard. If I can't reach it before this game's over, I'm going to show it tomorrow. I love that you... I like Betcher Brothers. Thank you guys so much. Uh, number eight. Final one for the round. Last one. In the country. Could you? I don't. Welcome to the game. Social distinction. Swap meet. Uh, I already said that. Uh, something fishy doy. Go. Cool. No, no, that's that. That's a, it's a. It's a gun. Yeah, yeah. Search. Uh, welcome to the game. Uh, something fishy. Doy, adios, pantalones, and broomsticks and butterbeer. Already said hi to you guys. Welcome to. All right. No, I don't think I did. Hi tonight. Uh, and your own personal facts. Welcome to the game. Chat will let us know. I think chat will tell us. We're going to keep this on screen for five seconds, then we're going to check in with Jack and the heckle cam, and then we're going to say hello to the answers for round number three. Five seconds on the clock. Five seconds on the clock. I'm going to try this. I really thought I had something there. Chat will let us know. All right, we're gonna say hi to Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hello, Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hello, Heckle Cam. What up? Uh, not much. Just making sure I have chat. Okay, yeah. Uh, we have a heckle that comes from Adam. Hi, you? Adam. Adam has a generous heckle for us. Thank you so much, Adam. Uh, he says, "Sure, ballet is a sport. Thanks for a fun round." Keep them coming. Uh, basketball in the hoop. Uh, American football, American football, international football, rugby ball, ballet slippers. Hey, you got ballet in there. <laughs> uh, Adam, I love it. I, you, you would be uh, happy to know that I was distracted from that because I was watching sports. Um, so he's implying that MMA is less of a sport than ballet there, right? Is that the joke? I buried the lead. I buried the lead. <laughs> That's what Adam's saying. Adam's on 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 record saying that ballet, MMA on the on the hierarchy of sports. Adam's uh, bold because of the amount of your heckle. I'll agree with anything you say. He's correct about You're right. all things. You're correct, Adam. You're right. That's Adam. <laughs> all right, and that's all the heckles we have, folks. Let's that's go on the answers. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we gotta keep, we gotta pick it up. Uh, would you mind uh, what's in the box? Yes. Round three answers. Name the country. Get him in. Get him in. 
Number one. Looking for turkey. Number two. Uh, Fiji. That's Fiji water. Bottle of Fiji water. Nice job, everyone on Turkey. Just also identify the thing you're looking at. There. Nice job on Fiji. Number three. Uh, the answer here is Jordan. Picture of Michael Jordan. I mean, Jordan. I'm not going to say. Number four. Uh, answer is Greece. Greece, the right answer. Nice job, everyone. I've got chills. They're multiplying. I'm losing control. Number five. China. China's the right answer there. Easier round. Not too, not too tough of a round. A couple of rough spots. Number six. Uh, we're looking for Georgia here. That's the outline of Georgia. The U.S. state. Georgia. So we're looking for the country, Georgia. Number seven. Oh, I love it. Number seven. Togo. Togo. No, I don't think I would have gotten that one. To go? No? That's a tricky We're kind of funny. We're kind of funny. Finally, number eight, Chad. Now, I forgot. My writer told me wh what Chad that is, and uh, I forgot. I don't know what Chad. He didn't write it here. And we couldn't remember it. So, folks, someone in chat knows what Chad that is. Can chat tell us the Chad? That is a Chad. I know it's a Chad. If you know what Chad that is, please identify this Chad. Chad Michael Murray? It is Chad, Chad Michael I Murray! Thought, I pulled up a picture of him and it did not look the same, but that's what I thought. Was he in the dead zone? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you got you. It's halftime. Tell us how you did in round three, because it's time for halftime. And because it's halftime. And because I have this new fun little thing, ladies and gentlemen. John Doe has the upper hand. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? Right. Hey, all right. John Doe has the upper hand. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box, Derek? What's in the box? John Doe has the upper hand now. Text your guest to 657-234-2399. Once, once we give you a hint, we're gonna give you a hint, don't guess yet. The first person to send in a guess, and it's the first phone to do it. If it's it's not one person, or it's one person per phone per guess. Uh, it's not per team, you're all fending for yourself tonight. Winner gets a $5 Target gift card. What's in the box challenge? What's in the box challenge? You guess what's in the box? 657-234-2399 is what we're looking for. Friends, family, people, we're gonna give you a hint as to what, we're, what we want, as to what's in the box. I like the second one. Okay. I like, I like the that. second one. But we're probably gonna, you know what, we're gonna need to give a hint. Let's do the first one. Okay. Are Let's do the first one. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like it. Because we're just gonna have to give it that first hint anyway. Sure. All right, here's your hint, folks. The first person to send in a right guess, the What's in the Box Challenge. Okay, the hint. Okay, also, we, we printed out a picture of this, so it could be any yeah, size. Yeah, it's a, it's a printed picture. Um, this is a fish. So name, guess what fish it is. What fish, fish is in the box? Guess a fish. Guess a fish. First correct fish is the winner of tonight's. Can you give me what you're looking for specifically? Just so I know we're on the same page. Send in a guess. Mm -hmm. Send in a guess. We're looking for a type of fish. A type of fish. A type of fish. Mm -hmm. If you guess the fictional fish right off the bat, right, there it is. Yeah, nice. I knew it was fast. I knew it'd be fast. Chicken dinner. Oh, that's the only one so far. Oh, uh, we got one more, but All right. the first one counts. First one counts, and you can go ahead and stop sending in your guesses Just right barely. now. Barely beat them. You can take it off. You can you can stop guessing. So sorry, folks. It was so fast. What's in the box tonight? What's in the box tonight? We're looking for it's a pufferfish. Pufferfish. <laughs> I love it. Look, you're so fat. <laughs> yeah. You won a Target gift card. Congratulations. If your phone number ends in nine three six zero, you. That's not any of those letters. You won. What's your email? 
Phone number ends in 9360. Have you won before? Oh my. Once. Once before. Oh, <laughs> and we one gave of my you favorite ones. and we gave you Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love it. That's a long time ago. You haven't won in a long time. And you're a frequent player. Thank you for joining us. Haven't won since June. Love it. Frequent player, congratulations. Uh, you won halftime. Well done. Well done again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, darn. Osvaldo picks it up. Osvaldo with the win. Nice job, Osvaldo. Claiming that prize in chat. You're going to be getting that soon. Uh, if, you won, if you won in the last weeks... Plural, few weeks, it's coming soon, I promise. We do them in batches, like at months at a time, so just hang out. But it's coming soon. Well done. Well done. Let's go on to round number four. Round four is going to be guess who. In this round, we're looking for a famous name. The sooner you turn in a correct guess, the more points you get in this round. Now, the name could be someone who is alive or dead, that could be real or fake, that can be human or not human, any combination of those six things. Once you have a guess for this one, send it in, but make sure you're confident, because if you turn in a wrong answer, you, you get zero, and you can't guess again. You, a right answer on the first clue is worth four points, then the second is three, then two, then one. So, we're going to give you about two minutes in between each clue. Your first cutoff is going to be 814. Oh, we're running behind. I'll pick, I'll pick it up, I promise. 814 is the first cutoff for the first clue. Good luck, everybody. We were delayed because of the yeah. freezing. For four points, this person was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1972. This person's stepfather was a sergeant in the army, and they briefly lived in Germany and then moved to Texas where this person attended high school. This person credits the Boys and Girls Club of America with giving them something to do most of the time. This person majored in business at Louisiana State University. That's your four-point clue party, people. Nice crowd tonight. Everyone's all nice. Four points again. This person was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1972. This person's stepfather was a sergeant in the army, and they briefly lived in Germany and then moved to Texas, where this person attended high school. This person credits the Boys and Girls Club of America with giving them something to do most of the time. This person majored in business at Louisiana State University. That's Baldo picking it up. Love it. Are we still doing phrasing? Are we still doing phrasing? Oh, it hit him! You can't hit him. You can't hit the guy with the baseball. You're not allowed. They don't let you. I'm not allowed. 814 is the cutoff. You've got under a minute remaining. About a minute left, but under a minute remaining. Stretch. There we go. and see who's on base. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds remaining. Again, a reminder, folks, friends, family, people, this Sunday, we got a, a, the People's Feud. We'll be playing a, the People's Feud that you can play with your family if you want to. Uh, we're going to have prizes for that. You get, you, you get to play individually on teams. We're going to mix people up, put them on teams, play a couple rounds, have some fun. Have to be a Tier 2 member. That's the nine ninety nine level per month. People person. Got to be a people person. That's the reward. Three-point clue. 816 is a cutoff. This man got his educational doctorate in human resource development at Barry University. He also has been made a reserve officer with the Miami po Beach Police and is an honorary U.S. Deputy Marshal. This man has released four rap albums and has starred in a few films, including his first, Blue Chips. There we go. This man is on the board of directors for Papa John's Pizza, though none of these things are his primary career. Here we go. That should be a tip-off, folks. For three points, eight... What's the cutoff, did I say? Sixteen. This man got his educational doctorate in human resource development at Barry University. He has also been made a reserve officer with the Miami Police, sorry, Miami Beach Police, and is an honorary U.S. Deputy Marshal. This man has released four rap albums and has starred in a few films, including his first Blue Chips. This man is on the board of directors for Papa John's Pizza, though none of these are his primary career. 
Yeah, it was a bit of a tip-off, wasn't it? There's a hint. Uh. What? I'm cool with it. Okay. I said it. Okay. He's pointing out what I said. Hmm. When I do it, it's cool. When I <laughs> wow. do it, completely alone. Wow. What? I'm running the show. I literally read the questions and deliver the hints. W O W. Wow. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, if re if it's who wants to be a millionaire and Regis reads an ex an extra clue, right? That's fine. But if someone from the audience yells it out, that's not that's not what the thing is. Well, what if Regis just reads a clue and then the audience like yells it back, like Regis, did you just? Good point. <laughs> Very good point. I'm not Regis. <laughs> I'll point this out right now. I don't know if you guys can figure this out. I'm not Regis Philbin. I don't talk like this. Here we go. Two-point clue. This man is primarily known for being a basketball player, four-time NBA champion, and the 2000 season's most valuable player. Drafted number one overall in 1992 by the Orlando Magic and was elected into the Na Namath Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016. At seven foot one and 325 pounds at the time of writing that question. This man is one of the biggest players in the history of the NBA. Squirrel still in charge and claiming it. Uh, Squirrel will be determining what gifts, videos, or backgrounds you see for the Heckle Cam tomorrow, unless someone deceits her. Or the it's an animal, so I'm not gonna it deceits them. Deceit the squirrel. I'm not gonna. What in the blue hell is that? <laughs> Why? 818 should cut off till the final clue. <laughs> they should make the make the wall higher. If that were, it would have hit the wall. If that were in any other stadium. Why are we in Texas? Basketball player, four-time NBA champion, 2000 most seasons MVP. Drafted number one overall, 92, by the Orlando Magic. Elected in the Namath Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 16. <laughs> the pitcher's so happy. Yeah, of course the pitcher's happy. <laughs> he got his uh, ass saved. At seven foot one, 325 pounds, this man's one of the biggest players in the history of NBA. Fidel takes it back. Fidel takes that lead back, currently in charge. Naismith, sorry. Who am I thinking of? Naismith? Naismith? I'm thinking of the football guy, sorry. Who caught that ridiculous play? Who caught that? Uh. Who do I, whose name do I have to curse every night? 820 is a cutoff. Or did I say 18? No, that's it. Last clue. This multi-talented man starred in the movie Kazam. <laughs> there you go, that's your answer. He played most of his basketball career with the Lakers alongside Kobe Bryant. Man's first name rhymes with the last name. Don't host angry. Too late. Too late. I'm going to confirm that we have all submitted an answer, then we're moving on. Yeah, Belly. We've done it. Belly did it. Folks, I've submitted the right... Uh, I, I have confirmed that you've all submitted at least one answer. So here is the answer. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq! Uh, Shaq, if you, you know, Mario Lopez uh, is a popular answer. Mm -hmm. Round 4.5 are four questions loosely related. It was over the wall. Loosely related to the clues that we just read you in round number four. Not necessarily directly related to Shaq. They might be, but not necessarily. Oh, chat just wants us to confirm that it was Belly, Bellinger, that stole it. Okay, thank you. I already hate him. I already <laughs> hate him for the home run. Why would I not? Well, now you can just hate the same person. Good. I have to just focus Instead my hate. Instead of hating a whole brand new person. 4.5 question one. Though Louisiana State University's logo is of a pelican, what animal is the university's athletic mascot? Question one again. Though Louisiana State University's logo is of a pelican, what animal is the university's athletic mascot? Yeah, don't, don't, hey, don't, don't bankrupt yourself trying to win a gift war, folks. Only gift, can't. Number two. 
Papa John's is the fourth largest pizza chain. Why? In the U.S. Behind Domino's, Pizza Hut, and what chain that comes in at three? Question two again. Papa John's is the fourth largest pizza chain in the U.S. Why? Behind Domino's, Pizza Hut, and what chain comes in at three? We, we, will, we will sometimes take some editorial leeway. You can't, like, make a nauseating background that's going to, like, hurt our viewers' eyes, all right? And it can't be, like, graphic, and it can't be, like, two people doing it. Like, <laughs> you know? Funny, though. We just can't put that for the heckle cam. Number three. The Orlando Magic take their name from the name of what local attraction? Biggest economic engine in Orlando. Three again. The Orlando Magic take their name from the big name of what local attraction? The biggest economic engine in Orlando. Why? Final question for the round. Number four. In the movie Kazam, Shaquille O'Neal's genie character is trapped inside what kind of object? Good lord. In the movie Kazam, Shaquille O'Neal's genie character is trapped inside what kind of object? Why is the pitch why is the pitcher celebrating that? You gave you literally gave up a home run. The he pitcher literally I, I get that, but why is he pumping his fist like he did something? He should be praising and shining that guy's shoes. Why is he celebrating? Because he's empathetic. He's like, No, nope. yeah, he said like... go me. He said go me. I saw his lips. <laughs> he's I selfish. Do that. He's selfish. Selfish team. All right, Jack, we're going to check in with you in five seconds. If we have no heckles, we're going to move on to the answers. That's a very poss possible thing. Why are you blowing kisses? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. he's blowing kisses to the guy that he literally gave up a home run to. That's mean. That's not a cool thing to do. No. You literally give up a home run. All right, Jack, do we have any heckles? Uh, we do not actually have any heckles right now. We are moving on to the answers. Folks, get those answers in. Get those answers in. Celebrating after giving up a home run is a little weird. Yes, the guy in center field caught it, but boy. Answers around 4.5. Get them in. Get them in. Hurry, folks. Hurry. Or send in heckles. Send them in. Uh, five seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, and one. If you send in your answers after we have read them, they don't count for points. Sorry, folks. It's just we don't know how to navigate that, and we didn't get any heckles. So, moving on. Round 4.5. Answers. Though LSU's logo is of a pelican, what animal is the university's athletic mascot? Looking for a tiger. LSU tiger is what we wanted there. If you're a fan of college football, you would have figured that one out. If you're a fan of college football, I played in college. Mm -hmm. I was on a team. I was on a team. Number two, Papa John's, the fourth largest pizza chain in the U.S. Behind Domino's, Pizza Hut, and what chain comes in at third? Little Caesars. Pizza Pizza's third. Although Papa John's might be, might drop a little lower due to news, you know. You know. Number three, the Orlando Magic take their name for the name of what local attraction? Uh, Walt Disney World. We'll take Magic Kingdom. We're okay with that because we actually re we ask you to reference it. Well, if you the Magic King Kingdom, we're okay with that. Don't 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 worry. Don't panic. I see a lot of you guys put that as the answer. It's what we we're looking for. We're good. Number four, in the in the movie Kazam. Shaquille O'Neal's genie character is trapped inside what kind of object? It's a boombox. Boom I knew that. I could have told you. Oh that. my gosh, no one else knew this. What? No. Out of 25 people, two? one, two, three, four, five. Ah! Wow. Amazing. I, I thought that was more common knowledge than that. Um, you, I mean, I guess you have to see the movie a bunch when you're a child. I have. It wasn't that. Well, I guess not every child. I saw it too. I know we 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 hit the meat of it. We knew exactly. what we We're like, well, duh, it's a boombox. <laughs> duh. What else would it be? Yeah, it was, it's it's Kazam. All right, round five is find the theme. In this round, 
the answers to one through seven all have something in common. That's the answer to question number eight in this round. Now, the answers that, or the things that point you uh, towards the theme for this round, they either could be the whole answer, they could be a word in the answer, or they really, really could be a series of letters in, in the word in the answer. That's possible. How many people guess sneakers? One, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. More people guess shoe or sneaker than the actual correct answer. Amazing. A genie. I guess it makes as much sense, right? Yeah. Makes as much sense. All right, for this round, the answers to one through seven have something in common. That's the theme for the round, and the, also the answer to round number eight, uh, five, question eight. Stop. This guy. I don't even know this guy's name. Your spare parts, bud. Uh, round five, question one. In her live action film adaptation in 2019, what children's character was played by Isabella Monair? Monair? While she searched for the lost city of gold. Monair? Monair? I think it's Monair. Chad, help me out. You got this, Chad. Number one, again, in her live action film adaptation in 2019, what children's character was played by Isabella Monair? Monair? While she searched for the lost city of gold. One more, if you don't mind. Sure. Whenever you have a moment. Uh, I don't. Doesn't look like that. Here's number two. They edited it. What TV show's pilot episode reveals the title character's husband is leaving her for his pregnant girlfriend, and that her 17-year-old daughter's pregnant too? I'll, I will always wait for uh, John Boy Media's breakdown of cool stuff like that. Like, like there's like altercations in baseball. And he's done a couple other sports too. Like he's in hockey and football. But John Boy Media, uh, shout out to that YouTube channel. What's up? Let's do some cross promotion. Uh, I'm waiting for his breakdown. He, he broke down the Padres uh, manager getting ejected last night. and Oh, the umps, the umps are um, blind. Terrible I last night. Don't, I don't like it. But, uh, but John, I'm waiting for John Boy's. That is my end-all, be-all opinion. But from the from the editing that that whatever MLB TV just did, they made it look like that pitcher was like pointing and yelling at that guy. So I don't know. Dirty pool, MLB TV. Number three again, the late Vern Troyer's most famous role was well, what clone in the Austin Powers series? Three again, the late Vern Troyer's most famous role was as what clone in the Austin Powers series? Welcome to Baseball Chat, starring Austin. We do some trivia every once in a while. But mainly we just talk about current playoff baseball. <laughs> Folks, if you're not watching this while the, the VP debate and playoff baseball at the same time, what are you doing with your life? Huh? You need to be entertained in th three ways at all times. Come on, right? I'm admitting that trivia is the best of all three. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get that to you. Number four. What is the word commonly paired with flora used to refer to the animal life in a particular region? Debate's done? Good. Great. Join us. What is the word commonly paired with flora used to refer to the animal life in a particular region? Five. June 21st and December 21st are usually the dates of what celestial events when the Earth's hemispheres have the most or least sunlight of the year? Five again, June 21st and December 21st are usually, usually the dates of what celestial events when Earth's hemispheres have the most, or at least, sunlight during the year. That was like 10 seconds before we saw it. Should be time to stop. Number six. What is the name of the neck organ located just below where the pharynx splits into the trachea and the esophagus? Commonly called the voice box. 
Six again. What's the name of the neck organ located just below where the pharynx splits into the trachea and esophagus? Commonly called the voice box. Thank you. Still a 1-1 game, but holy hell. This was a much more exciting game than last night. Mm -hmm. Seven. Oceanus, Hyperion, Cronus, and Rhea are four of the 12 members of what group in ancient Greek mythology? I've been playing a lot of Hades, which is a video game currently that focuses on Greek mythology, so I am a huge nerd for this right now. I'm playing a lot of Hades. Just running around as the son of Hades. Fun game. Check it out. A very pretty game. Very great art, great voice acting. If you're a video game nerd, uh, take a look at Hades. Swap meet if you're taking requests. Someone, one of our players started playing Portal to my suggestion, and I'm so, so happy. Isn't that cool? My life has, has been fulfilling. That's and, all I needed. And also check out her... <laughs> Uh, mathematics YouTube channel. Sure, Net yeah, positive. that helps someone. I guess that's cool too. But someone took Portal on my recommendation, and that's important. Lesson here is listen to Jack. Question number eight: What's the theme for the round? What's the theme for the round, folks? Let us know. Let us know the theme for round number five. The answers to one through seven all have something in common. Look within those answers to find the theme for round five. Look within those answers, party people. Let us know. We're going to keep this on screen for 10 seconds, and then we're going to check in with Jack and the Heckle Cam to see if anyone has sent in heckles. If you have, we're going to read them. If not, we're moving right on to the answer. So move quickly or literally by time. Literally by time. 10 seconds on the clock. Woo! Okay. It is tipsy trivia, but we only have one round to go. Yeah. Are we going to tell them why it's tipsy trivia? Well, we were watching the game before the game started. And so we had shots of tequila. dun 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 <laughs> That. <laughs> tequila. Let's say hi to Jack and the Heckle Cam for round five. Heckle Cam, hi Jack. Hi Heckle Cam. What up? I'm glad that you accept me when I'm at my most professional. Which is now. This is me at my most professional. It's a free show. <laughs> it is a free show. If you complain about professionality, professionalism, professionality. Prof my professionality. Professionality is the name of the episode. Already? That's what round I Round five. To... Already. Already. Round five. If I haven't had a name yet. What did I just professionality? I don't even know what that means. Professionalism. Professionality. Okay. Uh, Matt has our heckle. What's up, Matt? Matt has a hefty heckle for us. Thank oh, you thank so you much. Thank you so much. It says, hi, my name is Jack, and I love the Padres. Just nice. kidding. Wow, really? The Padres should bring back the chicken mascot. Okay. Austin, your thoughts? Okay. Grimace emoji, baseball emoji, stadium emoji, beer clinky emoji. Beer Cheers. clinky. We'll do that for you. We'll do it on your camera. It's the heckle cam. Yeah. I'm um, Sierra Nevada, by the way. Ace pineapple side. Uh, my thoughts on the uh, the Padres should bring back the chicken mascot. That was not the Padres mascot. What you were referencing is the San Diego chicken. That chicken mascot was not for any specific team. That was a guy in a chicken suit that would go to all San Diego events. So the Padres never officially had a chicken as a mascot. Okay, that story got really sad at the end. Yeah, it was just a guy. <laughs> there was a lawsuit over like when he he handed down the like the chicken mascot to like another guy, and like there was like a fight over it. It's kind of sad, but that was never a Padres mascot. The history of the San Diego chicken, by the way, great mascot, all time great mascot, but not actually a Padres mascot. Uh, wow. So let me correct you on that San Diego history You can right become there. a mascot by just believing. That's all you need. Hey, guys, <laughs> I've got a chicken costume. Do you need a mascot? It wasn't a guy, apparently, says chat. I don't know. Um, we have one more heckle. It was a guy. Anyway, oh, uh, yeah, okay, fine. Okay, he might have changed that. He was a chicken. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, he was a chicken. <laughs> he was a chicken, boo. You wear a disguise to look like human guys, but you're not a man. You're, You're the a San chicken. Diego chicken. 
Should I write that now? San Diego Chicken yeah, or something? San Diego Chicken Boo might be the title of the episode. Okay, we have another heckle I mentioned We'll before. do it. You read the heckle. Kelly always. has our heckle. It says, Boo! Fly emoji. And that's referencing something that's not our show. But it's referencing something that I'm sure we're going to see all over the internet for days to come. Oh my. I, I, news happens when this show is over, by the way. <laughs> Because, yeah. Anyway, thank you, Jack, for the heckles. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. All right, folks, here are the answers to round five. All right, right now is your last chance to do two things. One, send in a super chat or super sticker to become tonight's super chatter in charge. Right now it's Fidel. It's cumulative. Cumulative. Total throughout the day. <laughs> so currently Fidel's in charge and can conduct what tomorrow's backgrounds are for the heckle camps. Secondly, heckles. Last chance to send those in. All right. Once we once we move on to the shadow cam or say goodbye or leave this screen, whose ever name is right there is the winner. If you send it in after the show is over, uh, we, we it doesn't count. You have to give them an opportunity to kind of. So it's just whatever is there. Here are the answers. Round five. In her live action film adaptation in 2019, what children's character played by Isabella Moner? While she searched for the lost city of gold, Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer is the right answer there. Number two. What TV show's pilot episode reveals the title character's husband is leaving her for his pregnant girlfriend and that her 17-year-old daughter is pregnant too? Reba. There it is, folks. Reba Trivia. Oh, there Reba you trivia. go. You asked for it. Did there you it not is. get that question right you and still it. demand for Reba Trivia? Have you ever said, like, yeah, I want Reba Trivia? And have you... Have you got the right answer to that question? Because if you didn't, never again can you request Reba Trivia. That was the gate. I am the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? Number three. The late Vern Troyer's most famous role was his what clone in the Austin Powers series? Mini Me. Mini Me is the right answer there. Reba Trivia, folks. Eric's going to be so mad. What's the word commonly paired with flora? Used to refer to the animal life in a particular region. Looking for fauna. Flora and fauna. Flora and fauna. Uh, Brie, and, yeah, I don't think we have your, I don't think we have your mail yet. I'll, we check it once a week. We, we check our P.O. box. By the way, if you want to send us some mail, you want to get in the mailbag, and the rest of Serge's mailbag and Amber's mailbag is coming probably tomorrow. Uh, if you want to send us something, P.O. Box 9091, Brea, California, 92822. Jack's going to put that uh, address in chat. Uh, we uh, we thank you guys so much. You guys are very nice. We get cool stuff in the mail. It's fun. I get bills and then fun stuff from our fans, which is, that levels it out, which is nice. Five, June 21st and December 21st. Usually the dates of what celestial events. We're looking for the solstices. Solstices. The judicial system. It wasn't me. It was the judicial system. I can recite that Danny Carvey stand-up set by heart. Number five is there. Here's six. What's the name of the neck organ located just below the pharynx, splits into the trachea and the esophagus? Commonly called the voice box. Needed the larynx. Needed the larynx is the right answer there. Number seven. Oceanus, Hyperion, Cronus, and Rhea for the 12 members of what group in ancient Greek mythology? Titans. Titans got just slaughtered by their kids. Just ruined. Again, their playing a lot of Hades. Their kids gods, so... Their kids were gods in their defense. Their kids were gods. But boy, they just... They got them. Again, I'm playing a lot of Hades. Swap meet. If, if, you're, if you're confused as to like what to draw next time, and you want to do that cool thing where you send us postcards. I've been playing a lot of Hades, and I love you for doing it. Number eight, last question for the round. What's the theme for the round? Uh, musical soul feature. Uh, notes. Uh, in this answers? Notes, yeah. Notes, musical stuff. Uh, in the answers, we had Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. Do, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. And so on and so forth. How'd you do for round number five? Her voice is better than mine. Can't get to first, can you? Where did they get those runs from? You know. Round number six, your last round tonight. Another picture round tonight. 
two picture rounds in tonight's game while you post your scores, while you post your scores in chat tonight. Let me tell you what's going on for round number six. Round number six, all you got to do, all you have to do is identify the character pictured. The theme for all these characters, all these characters have a letter or letters on their chest or initials. Just or somewhere they're wearing them. Not necessarily on their chest, but they're wearing them. Name the character you're looking at. Last chance to become a super chatter in charge, by the way. And last chance for you to send in heckles. Here we go. Number one. Starting off easy. We don't want people to get zeros. Mr. S. Mr. S. <laughs> How do we get those two runs? Chat says aggressive base running. How dare you. It's just a double steal. A double steal is the same thing as a single steal. You, the catcher can't throw two balls. <laughs> so like, oh, double steal. Same thing. It's just the other guy did it while the two guys made. Number two. Name the character, not the sh not 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 where they're from. Not their organization. Name the character. Uh, chat says that our runs came from your pitcher. Oh, he just he just gave them to him. He just handed them to him. He gave the signal to the ump like, hey, give these guys a couple runs here. Tossed them a couple freebies through the Dodgers. Number two, name the character. You got a math argument in chat. Number three. You're only going to see these once, by the way. Boop. Identify the character pictured. They're all wearing letters. Question number four. In the final round. Name the character. We're going to be picky tonight, too. No flack. Flackless. Or no guff, really. No guff. Flack is something different. No guff. Teddy, how dare you? Number five. Number five. I know you missed that guy. It's not my voice, by the way. Whenever you hear those uh, video rounds, the number one. N -n 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 number two. Not me. It's some other guy on YouTube. I'm going to try and get him to do a guest spot. He's a big wrestling nerd, too. Number five. Identify the character pictured. We zoomed in on their clothing. They wear initials. Here's number five. Oh, wow. I know, right? Didn't touch him. Didn't touch him at all. Go for his ankle. Should... Number five. <laughs> Cut your mouth. <laughs> Not you, I'm saying. Hypothetically, you said that to me. <laughs> number six. Name the character. It's just hard to hit a ball when it's being thrown at you 97 miles an hour. Name the character pictured. Last round tonight. Folks! Then we got one more game this week. It's tomorrow. And then if you are a tier 2 member... If you are a people person, you're going to be playing a game of family... or. I didn't say it. People's Feud. People are our family. People's Feud. People are our family. People's Feud. We're clear, right? We got this? <laughs> Can we make this any clearer to you guys? <laughs> We're trying to lean this on heavy. Number seven. A little bit, one of the easier ones.
Number seven. Name the character. Here's number eight. Last one for round number six. Last one. Good luck. Here's number eight. <laughs> On the bag that time, Hosmer. On the bag that time, huh? Name the character pictured, folks. Friends, family, people. We're going to keep this on screen for about 10 seconds, and then we're going to read your heckles. Get in those heckles and get in those super chats. Stickers or chats if you want to. Be the super chatter in charge and figure out what will be our background for our heckle cam tomorrow. Five seconds on the clock. Five seconds, then we check in with Jack. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hello, Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hi, hecklers and all our people playing. Uh, this heckle I have comes from Cassie. Hi, Cassie. And it's a pie heckle. Oh, great. Uh, Cassie says, uh, Frasier theme. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling and thinks Austin should cut his hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Frasier after dark 2.0. It's coming. Beer. Baseball money emojis. We only have so many, uh, so many man work hours or person work hours uh, that we can fit so many events into a month. Uh, but the first one we repeat is going to be Frazier. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. By the way, Surge, Surge, now I believe is in charge Ooh. by the smallest of margins. Folks, you don't have much time. If you want to be the super chatter in charge now, because once, once the screen is done, that's the winner. If you send, if it pops up afterwards, you yeah, don't know what to do there. <laughs> One more heckle. Uh, we have oh, well, two more. Two more. Let's do two. Let's do the more. more uh, Christopher says, "Can I just bet the Padres and Dodgers will have a fun time?" Okay, wait. Can I just bet the Padres and Dodgers will have a fun time? She is a good Marge. <laughs> <laughs> All the horses are not having a good time right now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Looking at the game. I mean, I'm having a fun time, I'll tell you that. You've had your fun time for two World Series in four... Anyway, uh, next heckle. Uh, our next heckle, and I believe our Squirrel! last Sorry. heckle. Oh, no! Get Squirrel! Get that super chat in, folks, because it's a battle. Folks, get those super chats in. Dan has this heckle for us. It says, hey, Austin and... Or, hi, Austin and Jack. Boo says that Fiji water tastes like it's filtered through ancient volcanic rock ancient and deja blue tastes like it's been filtered through a butt crack <laughs> is that accurate love the broomsticks and butterbeer crew thank you so much broomsticks and butterbeer crew. i do not remember the last time i bought bottled water uh yeah. no we had some for the summer to give to our guests i think well not that we had much guests, our many guests. guests. Our guests. Not many guests this summer. Our guests. Um, like we're like we're a fucking hotel. Okay, so when like I, I haven't seen anyone except for you and my therapist for nine months. So what, when I months? when I buy a bottle with water in it, I'm looking for the cheapest thing available. So I don't think I've tasted Fiji. Yeah, or I haven't had Fiji in a while. Deja Blue, until since I lived with my parents. I don't know what Deja Blue <laughs> is by the way. That's great. <laughs> I dig it. And by the way, in chat, the Dodgers have been. Robbed out of one World Series, the other one not your. That could, there's, the other one you just lost to someone else. So I mean I was there. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, last heckle Dan in the Broom Six and Butterbeer podcast, great Harry Potter podcast, right Jack? Yeah, uh, I love it. You should listen to it. We I don't know. We'll talk to Dan. I'll uh, I like guests. It. Back yeah. bye Jack. Bye. Before thank COVID hit, we used to like host like improv practice here at our apartment. We would keep like water in the fridge for like when people would come over and then. I forgot what that's like. All right, here are the answers, folks. Boston got cheating too. Not as bad, right? Same guys. I thought it was different uniforms, different guys. We'll talk later. Here are the answers. Get them in. Get them in. Because it's time to go over the answers. And also, get in those super chatting. Right now, we got Squirrel is the current person in charge. Once the screen's done, that's our leader. Uh, don't do like a stalling tactic. It's not cool. Number one. I don't know it's true. I haven't looked it up. Name the character here, Superman. Superman. Mr. S. And I say you, number two. Uh, this character, James, from the Pokemon universe. 
Austin showed me this and asked who it was, and I got it right on my first try. She's so. very good at Pokemon. Uh, Jesse has a bear midriff. And no belt. No belt. More importantly, bear midriff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Number three. Uh, this answer here will accept Grover or Super Grover. Not Jesse. No, not Jesse, because Jesse has a bear midriff. Uh, not wear that, doesn't wear that black thing. Sorry. Just, we looked it up. Didn't fit. If you think we got it wrong, prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. At the end of round six, your scribe can submit answers. Surge! Trying to steal home. Rule four of Heads Up Baseball. Stealing home is always Heads Up Baseball. By the way, check out reddit.com slash r slash Heads Up Baseball. I'm the moderator of that subreddit. Number four. Boo to Grover being accepted? Come on, Becca. Don't, don't, don't split hairs, Becca. There's other things to fight for other than that, because it's technically Grover. It'd be like, I would also accept Clark Kent for number one, Becca, and that's the alter ego of the superhero, right? Right? That's who we're looking at. Number four. Uh, Scooby-Doo is the answer there. Scooby-Doo is what we're looking for there. Uh, Scrappy-Doo is the wrong answer. Did you put Scrappy? No, no one put Scrappy. I'll take Kal-El. kal, -El. kal fine. But, like, you all know what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Number five. This was tough. Who got this one right? Ron Weasley. Ron. Ron. Ron, Ron Weasley. Weasley. Ron. Ron. Ron Weasley. The Potter pal Pals. That's the same guy who did um, uh, Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Number six. Who? Uh, the answer here is Mr. Incredible. Not The Incredibles. Look at that fat chin. That Look at that neck. thick neck. Dude, no child or woman has that neck. Thicker man. Thicker man. Thicker man. Look at that thick neck. That's Mr. Incredible for six. Number seven, Donkey Kong. My favorite answer is Doan Kong, but I'm, I'm going to assume well, that was a typo. a typo. Probably a typo. Doan Kong. Finally, number eight, folks, friends, family, people, thanks for playing tonight. Answer, Alvin. Me? I want a hula hoop. Start, hardly stand the weight. This Quizmas, don't be late. How'd you do, folks, in tonight's round six? Thanks for playing. Let's give you the two things that we do at the end of every single game tonight. Post your score for round number six. If you submitted answers via smartphone, Fidel, trying to make that last chance ditch effort to be the super chat leader. I can't condone this last second strategy. Am I wearing pants? Gray shorts again my uniform second thing we do we show you our cat our mascot our 13 year old russian blue shadow she's gonna be a little tiny this time actually she's gonna be a little sh short on this one let's bring on the shadow cam hello shadow cam oh where'd she go where'd shadow go you're okay that's all right there she is oh she's a little she's a little small i'm gonna put her she's tiny tonight there she is She's sleeping again. She's so small. I don't know how to fix that. But, Sorry, folks, it's all right. It's my fault. It's my fault. Uh, your guys' support helps us keep this little monster fed. She is sleeping all... She, we buy her beds. We buy her a bunch of stuff. All she wants to sleep on is our old sweatshirts. So, thank you guys so much for supporting our channel and our game and our company uh, and this little monster, uh, our 13-year-old rescue shadow. We got a couple... Oh, look at those big eyes. Love her so much. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We're going to say goodbye to the Shadow Cam. Bye, Shadow Cam. Bye, Shadow. She's going to go to, she's going to take a sleep all the time. We're going to go over the, uh, the, 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 we got some nice gifts from Shadow from you guys. We're going to, again, cover the mailbag tomorrow. We ran out of time tonight. Sorry. We're trying. Check for your scores tomorrow on our social media. At People's Trivia Co. on Facebook and Instagram. Let's bring back Jack and let's say goodbye, folks. Jack? Hi, everybody. Hot, hot to the heck. Okay, we don't need that. There we go. This and the jingle's off. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, Jack, I'm having myself, Austin. And me, Jack. Clinky. Clinky. Uh, any parting words, Jack? Uh, go Dodgers! <laughs> you asked. I should have asked. On behalf of myself, Jack, uh, the people, the players, the writers, the hosts, and everyone who makes up the People's Tribute Company, Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, please come back tomorrow and uh, become a people person. 
a, a tier two member and join us on Sunday for People's Feud. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye.